Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Get it? The band Steppenwolf? Action figure Steppenwolf? You get it? You get... Never mind. Alright, guys. Today, we're going to review a very special figure in my action figure collection. I just want to thank uh, Electric Detonator Force sending me this fig. How awesome, how awesome, everybody do the awesome song. How awesome, how awesome, everybody do the awesome song. Yeah, awesome, 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 everybody do the awesome song. Awesome, awesome. Okay, that's enough. So, you get it, that joke, Steppenwolf. There's a band, Steppenwolf in the 60s, born to be one. Okay, I'm rambling on. It says, first time in six inches. Yay, Steppenwolf. I think he was a superpowers figure a long time ago, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% sure he was. But this is the first time in six inch form. Thank you, Mattel, for being Captain Obvious. So, it's cool. I really like Steppenwolf. He is... A very cool character in the new Earth 2, New 52 Earth 2 comics. He is, I'll sh show you some images here shortly, but he is Alcyon. So let's get a closer look at him in the box. This is from Wave 11. Wow, look at that face. Everyone say it with me. Only a face of mother could live. Pretty cool. Look at that big old axe he has. That's nice. I guess it's plugged into his back. So maybe it's like a electric axe or something. I don't know. Probably shoots energy bolts or something. Look at that. There's one thing about this character I don't like. We'll talk about here in a, in a minute. But Steppenwolf. Get your motor on it. Figure 11. I don't wanna... All right, in this wave, you can get, that's a very awesome wave, you can get Catman Tubi, which, wouldn't mind having that figure there, that would be an awesome figure to have, which I don't have, or you could get Jon Stewart from The Daily Show, that would be an awesome figure to have, which I don't have, or The Question, which Olivia has one, has her, and yeah. So, I might that was, she did a great review, and then Cyborg Superman with this Sinestro core clothes. I don't know what that's supposed to be. No, that's not Sinestro. I don't know. I don't know too much about that Cyborg Superman, uh, which I don't have. Dead Man, which I don't have, and the Shark, which I'll never get. He is. I don't talk about him, but. And step on. So uh, all these figures, you can build Kilowog, which I don't have. You know, I don't have any of these figures. This wave is the wave Chapman Films for he must have forgot about. Because I don't have any of those figures. And I have a lot of DC UC. I don't know. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I have to probably get Catman Tui and John Stewart for sure. And the qu question, maybe. So let's read his biography. It says, Uncle to Darkseid, the ruler of the warlike planet Apocalypse, Steppenwolf commands the apocalyptic army, looking to bring a war between Apocalypse, Apocalypse and his sister planet at peaceful New Genesis. Not the Genesis from Star Trek 2. Um, Doc Sarge is dressed to Steppenwolf to get your motor running. Headed on the highway. Doc Sarge suggested to Steppenwolf to travel to New Genesis and hunt its residents for sport. Ew, that's mean. Gosh. Uh, that's horrible. And implementing the plan, Steppenwolf killed the wife of New Genesis ruler. Azazaze? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I-Z-A-Y. War commenced and Steppenwolf 
was slain by, as the man said. <laughs> Dark side later, resurrected step of the love. Ooh, it's scary. And placed him in charge of the planet's military once more. Yeah, I was dead once. That's all good now, though. Alright, I'm going to throw some images up here. Hopefully I can find them. But in the new 52, in the Earth 2 comics, and I don't know if that's the same dark side and uh, from, I, I don't know if it's a parallel universe. I don't know if, if they're just jumping in between parallel universes or is it just a totally different parallel universe. Um, but Steppenwolf, a Steppenwolf from that dimension, I guess, slain Wonder Woman and Here's a scene of that. It, it's just hideous, and um, but pretty cool. And then Superman dies from the uh, Parademons, and um, so in the Earth Two comic, he is a bad mode. Uh, you know what? You know Steppenwolf. I mean, he killed a Wonder Woman, and the Parademons killed Superman, and Batman sacrifices himself to kill the Parademons. So man. That is tough. So I, I, I just don't understand if that's the same Steppenwolf from Earth 1 and Earth 2, but I really like his uniform. And then Steppenwolf, one of his people that helps him out is Earth 2's Wonder Woman's daughter, Fury. And um, that's interesting. She has a cool costume. So I really enjoy Earth 2. I recommend it. You guys picking it up. So... Plus the parents, New Gods, uh, issue 7, 1972. I wasn't even born yet, so this guy's older than me. Real name, Steppenwolf. Occupation, military commander. Best of operations, apocalypse. Powers and abilities, superior strength and speed. Cable snare weapon fires energy beam, so I guess that acts as an energy beam weapon. Expert swordsman wields elect electro axe. Oh, that's what that is. Electro electro axe. Sorry. All right, we'll be right back. We'll open this guy up, and we'll be. All right, we're back. So Stepping Wolf comes with the stand. He comes with his electro axe and a backpack to charge it. And uh, it's a pretty cool basic blue stand. If this guy was a superpower stand, a, a superpower figure, they should have gave him a superpower stand. But they must not have that back then when this wave came out. Wave 11, whatever. In the box, though. So. Yeah, wave 11. So, let's get a good look at this guy, shall we? Wee. So look at him. He is nice. He looks mean. He looks tough. He got spikes on him. And um, I need some parademons now. I've been talking about getting some of those for a while. Since I have Dark Side, which I haven't reviewed, I have the side. They got a kiss to uh, Aunt Ron or Uncle Ron. And I do need Calabac still. But so cool. So nice. And um, here's the part I don't like. Where's your pants, dude? You're supposed to be a general. Where is your pants? You don't want to have to paint some pants on that guy. I might give him some. I might paint the brown parts on him gray. I think that will look nice. He's kind of gray in the new 52 Earth 2 comic. But he is. I mean, this is not what he looks like in the new 52, but. Oh well, he, his brother needs some pants on. Get your pants on. Nice boots. It's pretty cool. And like I said, I want to once again thank Electric Detonator for sending me a stepping wolf. Now that would be cool to have Fury, Wonder Woman's daughter from Earth 2, but I'm not that good of a customizer to make that. So I will live with this and this it is. But at least I have Dark Side and um, and uh, the Sun, the guy that kissed your Uncle Ron. So cool. And... All right, let's go over his articulation. His articulation 
his head can move a 360, but I don't want to do that. I don't want him to kill me because I tried to kill him. And let's take him off the stand. Oh, look, his legs do go out. Swivel here, knee articulation, no no boot cut, but he does have ankle articulation. His arms do go out, um, elbow, and uh, wrist swivel. So, do he have a glove swivel? Eh, no, no glove swivel, but so it's still cool. Um, ab crunch. He does have a twist, but it's hindered by this bandolier on him. Oh, he is a nice figure. Alright, here is a new segment on my re uh, reviews. Um, it's called Looking Out the Window. And here is Stefan Wolf looking out the window. He does it quite nicely. Alright, now it's time for the smell of factor. Wow. Sometimes when you get a new figure, they don't smell good. And not saying he doesn't smell good, but sometimes they have that pepper, a little bit of pepper scent to them. I don't I don't get it. Sometimes they smell like a new toy, and sometimes they have like too much pepper, but it still smells like a new toy. A lot here. <clears throat> a size comparison to here it is. Um, Doc Sass, Dippin' Wolf, and the side, I gotta kiss ya, Uncle Ron. So, pretty cool. Let me get a regular size DC UC figure. And Batman's always the closest here. So this side is, his legs are bent. So he is a, he is about a regular size DC UC figure. So pretty cool, pretty cute. Alright, so how would I rate this figure? Good job, Mattel. Needs improvement, Mattel. Or dot of vomit. One thing, two things I don't like about this figure. His red on his outfit, it's that dull red they used to use back in the day. And, you know, if it was more of a brighter red, it would, it would be cooler. Or maybe like a uh, blood red. Like the Royal Guards from um, Return of the Jedi. Oh, that, I can't remember that movie. Yeah, so that would be cool if it was more of a blood red. Since he is a bad guy and lives in Apocalypse, that would be cool if he was, that the red was more of a nice color. And let's see. Oh, and uh, dude, that brother needs some pants, man. Get your pants on. So. Definitely, though, good job, Mattel. I mean, look at that face. It's just so evil. It's a, it's a face only a mother could love. He's so evil, he gets out of focus. But, yeah, nice, nice little goatee yeah, there. I wish I could grow a goatee like that. Or is that a beard? I don't know. It's hard to tell where his harness starts on his head and his goatee starts. We'll just say it's a goatee. You're evil, just like Mr. Spock from the Mirror Universe. You have to have a goatee. So, do I recommend him? Uh, probably not. You know, unless you're a Superpowers fan, or New Gods fan, or, you know, probably not. You can have Dark Side and the Parademons. You don't need Stefan Wolf there, really. But even though he's in charge of Dark Side's army. So you probably could pass on this. But I'm glad I have him because he is in the new Earth 2 comic from the new 52 from DC. That's a long title. So yeah, definitely I'm glad I have him. Thank you, Electric Detonator. You're awesome. So, and check out Electric Detonator's channel. He's new to YouTube. He's only been on a year. He only has 400 watchers. About almost, about almost 400 people watch him, so he needs some more subs, guys. So go ahead and sub him. <laughs> so tell him you love him. Alright. So my next review will be...